Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Minecraft 1.9. I'm chilling here on my couch inside my house, watching uh, TV. Uh, a good program called uh, The Skull Rose is on. It's about uh, a skeleton who uh, is <clears throat> in love with a human, and it shows uh, a <clears throat> his story on how he eventually gets this human woman to fall in love with him even though he's undead. It's a, it's a great show, great show. Uh, today's episode is Mob Proofing. Um, mob proofing is kind of a widespread term. Now, uh, remember how we put walls around and we even put little fence posts to kind of help against that? Well, there are a few other things you can do to deter mobs. So, we're going to just turn all of these into planks. And if I do that, if you put the bottom two rows filled with planks, you get trap doors. I believe I taught you how to do that already and this door thing this door trick should keep them at bay but what about spiders who can climb over the walls well you'd think that those fence posts would do something but no apparently they can climb over fences <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put trap doors all around at the top posts of our whole place. Now, if you look at it, it looks really stupid and kind of weird, but we can close them and they'll still do the same trick. Um, just like that. Now again, it will look weird, but essentially we can then protect ourselves from any mobs. Because watch, if I put one just above our height, even closed, if I go, I'm jumping right now. But if I go next to it, oh, look at this. I can get past. So this will deter all spiders away, which is very handy. Um, another good mob trick is a moat. So we are going to make a giant moat around our castle thing. Now, there is an unfortunate area on our castle which is right over here so I'm gonna probably have the moat uh, falling over into like a waterfall into this stream possibly I'll, I'll think about it when um, we build it but the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to cover up this water because we don't want you don't want your moat to have uh, water on the surface you want your moat to be deep so that nothing can get in. So even if mobs are trying to cross your moat, they'll just fall and then they're trapped in your actual moat, which will normally have la lava or water down there, but since <laughs> I don't really feel like bucketing all that uh, lava from down in the depth, um, I'm gonna just use water for now maybe sometime later off camera I'll replace it all with lava but until that day comes that won't happen so I'm just gonna do the basics and then I'm gonna uh, dig this all out um, off camera here because uh, that's gonna take me a long long time so let's say basically I think we're gonna go for four so Boom, boom. I think a moat with four is pretty good. How much do we got there? Do -do -do. Let's just dig all this stuff up. I do want it to look good and we want a patch of land at the side 
Um, so I'll show you. Like here, we do want this uh, kind of piece of land because then it makes it look more natural. It makes it look like our base is actually on an island of some kind. So we definitely want to keep that. So for now, Okay, so the depth is obviously going to be way deeper than this. We want it to be about four deep, possibly. So there'll be. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> anyways, let's get this string that I had, and let's also pull out this dirt. Because uh, I want to replace that, that's going to bug me. And I think we're going to flatten this part out. Because this is just a raisin land that doesn't need to be here. It looks kind of ugly. It makes our landscape look stupid. I'm also thinking we're going to need to um, redo our mine shack over there. Um, but I'll leave that for another day. So this will be basically our crossing right here and what we want is we don't want just a, a bridge that mobs can cross on we want something that no one can cross so um, I believe this is how this works yes okay perfect I've never actually done this before so you can place string just chilling down um, and if we place string wait it is supposed to be there, right? Or can it go on top? No, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And now, if we get back up here, now that there's string across there, we're going to need... Oh, I don't have a crafting bench right here. That should have been one of the first things I do. Um we can take this wool now I grabbed this from my other house because unfortunately we don't have sheep around here but um, eventually I'll bring some over and we can have like a sheep thing so if you make uh, if you put two wool together you get wool carpet I chose brown because it kinda looks like earth and you can place the carpet above the string and for some reason the coating for mobs mobs will not walk over carpet <coughs> because they don't see string as a block so they see none of these as blocks and so they'll just kind of stand here like this going mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we can run right across so that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, I'll, uh, I'll stop it here, I'll do a ton of digging, and I'll kind of get it to the way that we want, and then I'll bring you guys back, and we'll show you what we've done. Alright, I've done uh, a lot of the digging, and I blocked it off at the side here, so it kind of falls off, and then it'll run down into the water, and I thought we could do it on the other side as well, but then I noticed, as I'm walking through the trench, I'm going to either need to make this trench a lot deeper, or have different variations in the bottom, because as I come out here, oh look at this, <laughs> all this part is lower than where I have the moat, so <laughs> we might even just have the moat at um, just like the front here and then I'll drop it off into like this pool maybe and then have this just like regular I think that's what we'll do so I put an infinite water source over here at the beginning um, so we can just easily do this and pour water out at the bottom and um, I'll go around and finish up the um, what are those called the trapdoor thing and then, um, then we'll be pretty we'll be pretty good when it comes to uh, mobs. So I think that's about it for this episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day. 
Uh, take care. Peace.